Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. In the download section, you can find uh, the source code of this Python file. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about how to plot uh, in Python. Okay, so uh, it's an, our first video on Python. So Python is uh, uh, open source, unlike MATLAB, and you can uh, you don't have to pay any fees for uh, plotting in Python and doing some scientific computation. Okay, so Python, it is also well known that Python can be used for scientific computation, but to using some of these basic, basic commands can be typical for a newcomer. So this video is targeted for newcomers who try to do the same thing as they did in MATLAB and now they want to do the same thing, scientific computation and plotting in Python. So particularly we will be using Python 3.7 and we will be using a python distribution that is anaconda anaconda python distribution the basic reason for using this distribution is because it's already come with several python modules which will be required for scientific computation like numpy scipy matplotlib etc and along with this it has also comes with it also has several <coughs> id like jupyter jupyter notebook or uh, spider so we will be writing our code on spider only so python anaconda distribution and then spider id so you don't have to worry about all the modules which uh, otherwise you have to install if you are using raw python 2.7 module or 3.7 module so this anaconda will be using python 3.7 okay so once you open this anaconda navigator go to spider and then launch button so i am assuming like you already familiar with this anaconda and spider uh, navigate or this spider id so we'll be focusing only on the coding uh, in order to plot it and i we are assuming that you are a little bit familiar with the python as well so let's create a, a new script so I think you know if we want to create one command, one command we can put using a hash sign or if we want to create multiple commands we have to use triple uh, colon sign, double colon sign. So we can write it like by such in charm. Okay, so when we try to uh, uh, first object okay, already is to save it so let's save this plot.py so first task in python is to import the uh, necessary files which will be required for plotting so first thing is import uh, for plotting function uh, plotting support comes with the matplotlib library uh, provided by uh, provided by matplotlib so import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay then let's say what you're saying okay and then uh, we will be using numpy as np okay so uh, that's it now let's start once uh, as you may be familiar with matlab or any uh, basic operations on graphs you need to create some points on which you can create a graph first thing so, so generally this uh, uh, plot creates a uh, plot uh, list so let's generate a list of some numbers okay and that's it now we can simply uh, plot it so the plot command is plt dot plot then x right so let's generate it so a plot will be created okay so it already uh, by default like matlab it creates a line plot with numbers and these are the syntax uh, index numbers index 0 1 two three and four okay 
so uh, that's pretty simple we can also provide like uh, X label like if we want to put it so it's simple sample and then dot y label as amplitude and we can also uh, give the title to it plt dot titla hmm. some numbers let's say so this is very easy uh, let's create it okay so everything is the amplitude sample and some numbers so uh, one more thing uh, when you will be running this particular code inside your uh, spider id this figure will not be appearing up here right right figure may be appearing here in the console window so there is a procedure to undo is uh, the procedure is go to tools go to preferences and then select ipython console and go to graphics and instead of inline select here automatic so when you select this automatic already your figures will pop up as a another window so this is how we can plot right plot or x label so let's move forward and instead of these numbers let's generate some number which are evenly spaced so we can create a evenly spaced numbers as well so commands are like np dot line space so line space is a command which take a starting point and the then the ending point let's say three and number of samples let's say we are taking 100 samples in between so let's first check what does it do so we run it it will create an array but this array is not really evenly spaced and this may create problem if we try to plot the sine wave of cos wave the reason for that is because it includes 3 as well right so the 0 to 3 it has divided into 100 parts so if it uh, take instead of 100 101 points because uh, it is crucial for sampling information as well and if we run it again and let's say if we plot now x now x is the evenly spaced at a rate of 0 0.03 so if we take the sample to 0 0.01 let's say we will have 0 to 3 at 300 numbers let's say x is there yeah so now these numbers are evenly just 0 0 0.1 0 0.02 and so on okay so we can also do certain mathematical operations on it like right suppose we want to create a straight line equation so let's say 3 into x plus 5 okay so uh, this create a straight line equation on these arrays numbers and then plot it and then change it to a straight line right and let's run it so it created a straight line by default you have noticed if you once run it comes with blue line if you run it again it comes up with orange line the reason is because if this plot is already open it is a kind of hold on command so it keeps on plotting on the same plot so there's a uh, certain concepts in matlab like before prior to using a new plot you generally close the, all the previous plot Similarly, in this case too, we can also use this command that is uh, plt dot close and then provide all. So if there is an open plot, it will first close it and then create the another one. Okay, let's say let's plot it again. It close and then open a new one. So this is how we do it. Now let's generate a sine wave. Okay. Uh, of some frequency let's say we want to generate a sine wave of 2 hertz and the sampling frequency should be 100 hertz so let's take a paint to demonstrate it more clearly so what we want to generate the frequency of sine wave is 2 and the sampling frequency we want to have a 100 hertz so 100 hertz means we will be having samples at 0, 0 0.01 because we want to generate the time axis right 0 0.02 and so on so now 
uh, if we go to our command so right now it is generating a sine wave of 3 minute duration with a sampling rate of 100 hertz because if 100 hertz are there so there will be 301 samples between 0 and 3 so it is exactly the same right so now instead of this y plus 2 3x plus 1 what can we do we have y equals to let's say sine 2 into pi into frequency say 2 into the time axis which I have already created as x so but it will throw an error like undefined or variable name pi right so again this sign is not directly defined it is defined in np dot sign again a pi is not defined directly so uh, we can use import math library and then we can import pi from there so there's a command from math import pi so now we can directly use it and then on the x label now we have time in seconds and then amplitude and here we can say okay sine wave okay uh, let's run it okay oops we have only plotting x instead we should plot y okay so this is a sine wave is there but look uh, at the x axis these are the sample numbers because we have not plotted x so there is another command plot x comma y so on x axis these numbers will be there on y axis y will be there so we can do like this now it is time in second from 0 to 3 seconds and so on now we want to change okay we want to put a grid on it so for creating a grid we should say plt dot grid and then we should type true so that grid will be there now yes now you may be wondering how to change the colors of this plot and the style so this is a very easy uh, similar to matlab if we just simply type r so it will create in red color and if we put r dash dash it will create a uh, dotted line in between so there are several line properties are there and uh, you can get all those line properties from the official website of matplotlib and then you can learn a lot about it so it is a very basic tutorial for beginners in order to understand how to plot it okay so uh, that was it similarly there's another command also as well instead if you are not want to use line space because uh, sometimes it may be confusing so there is an another command uh, that is np dot a r a n g e arrange what np dot arrange takes is starting and the ending point and the difference say 0 0.01 so it is directly take uh, sampling period we are taking or 1 by fs you can say so the uh, advantage of this command is it doesn't take the last number in its count so if I run it and then plot x if you you will see the last number is 2.99 not the 3 and like the line space command so this command is generally very useful if we are dealing with uh, sampling kind of thing without any confusion so let's plot plot it again so it will again plot the same thing so i hope you understood it how to plot these different kind of commands with different things in python so in upcoming videos we will be more talking about this or if you want to add or comment on certain aspects of this tutorial then uh, you can comment below on this video okay so i hope uh, you learned something on as a starter to plotting certain basic uh, graphs on python so that's it for this video thank you